what it do but your crew welcome back to another update video on our idle issue we've been having on our civic so um i went ahead and removed the the what's this called the pcv valve it was literally just sitting on there like that and it was hooked up and all but it was really easy to remove but check this out look how dirty that is now i would recommend we get a new one but i went to autozone and O'Reilly's, and they all don't have it in stock so camera real quick but yeah they don't have it in stock so i'm just gonna try my best to clean it up and hopefully you know we'll see what's going on all right guys so i think i might have found the solution to our issue well it's adding a little bit too low right now i uh i um I adjusted the idle screw right where the throttle body is at. I closed it up all the way, but it looks like it's uh need to adjust it a little bit more and open it up. It went down to a thousand, but you can see it's uh starting to die off a little bit. But it's not surging anymore, so that's a good thing. So I'ma loosen up the screw. I tightened it up all the way, so I'ma loosen it up just a couple turns. And we'll see what's up. But I think I know, because I know for sure we don't have a vacuum leak and all that stuff. I, I'm pretty positive, so. Um, and then me adjusting the screw has had more impact than, you know, replacing the hoses and trying to do all that random stuff. But everything's connected. The idle screw is right here. Now, I bolted it up all the way, just uh, like hand tight, you know, just I gave it a couple ooga doogas, but um, let's see. All right, so that's one complete turn. And we'll do two. All right, we'll do two. Let's see what's up. Start it again. Okay. Oh, shit. Battery. Not the battery, but the actual uh, connectors, the terminals or whatever. Too much though. Oh, it's dying. It's dying. It's dying. All right, I'm gonna open it up a little bit more while it's running and see what's up. Actually, like. That's a little too low for me. I'm gonna open it up a little bit more. I want to get the idle to be at least a, uh, like eight, nine hundred or almost a thousand, you know. The, I think the spec idle that the car's supposed to be at like 650 or something like that or 850. I'm not too sure. But let me actually turn off the car first. Okay, guys. I think I might have found the issue. Not the issue completely, but it definitely uh, fixed the idle issue so it's not surging as much. It does surge a little bit, but it's a really tiny difference, guys. So what I did was um i tightened the, the 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 adjustment screw right there i closed it all the way so all the way not not really tight but like just until you get resistance so once it's like hand tight i loosened it like half a turn so the line was like this and i just like that literally that's all i did and then uh, i started the car i was surprised that the idle was you know this how, how it is now i took it for a drive stepped on it um you know the idle stays at a thousand i'm okay with a thousand turn the headlights it jumps up a little bit but then it settles back down to like 1100 1200 you see it right back down i'm gonna give it some gas look at the idle turn off the headlights 
and it's operating temperature guys so it's it's just warmed up you know i'm gonna let it idle a little bit more i've been letting it idle here just to double sh double check but i mean we fixed it at the cost of a window you know but fuck it as long as it idles good nice okay guys so interesting fact so the whole time the car was idling good, I had this sensor disconnected here. This one right there. I think that one is what, uh, something about the fans, uh, it, like with the pressure, or like a temperature sensor or something like that. I'm not too sure what it's called or what it's for, but I know that's what I had uh, unplugged. And the idle was running, watch, I'll show you guys. I'm gonna unplug it right now. Okay, I'm gonna start the car and listen to the idol. The idol is gonna be, you know, top notch. at least it's not surging you know it's like more stable so i'm guessing maybe that has something to, that sensor has something to do with it because as soon as i plug it in the car is going to turn off or the fans are going to turn on and so is uh so is the car ah fuck shit how does that Alright, that's plugged in. Fan is on. And watch it start to bog and die. Okay, so the idle's not done. It's not going down. It's steady at a thousand after I plug that thing in. But right now, as soon as the fan's kicked in. started getting a little bit of uh, activity here. Nope. All right. Guess not, it's just camera shy. All right guys, so I don't know what is going on, but the car just does not want to die. You know, it felt like just acting good and it's acting good. Uh, like I said, I did move that idle screw, uh, just one notch, so I closed it all the way and when I when I tightened it, it was up. It was like this. So I loosened it once like that, and that was it, guys. Like I said, I tried, I had it. I was driving it. I drove it without that sensor connected. And then uh, just now, you guys seen me plug it back in, and it's idling perfect, guys. I'm gonna rev it up. idle stays the same holy fuck i think we just fixed it on camera nice idle nice headlights turn them on went up a little bit bouncing back down a little bit turn them off i think whoa 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 whoa, whoa. wants to act up a little bit well, I think we might have fixed the car, guys. Nice. I'm going to let it run for another couple minutes. I still don't trust it. So I'm going to let it sit in idle for like a couple more minutes. And then we'll see if it dies or not. All right, guys. Got some more good news. Some parts just came in for the Civic. Uh, it's the, the front strut bar and the rear C-pillar bar. And another thing, if you guys remember that spoiler, the Integra spoiler, uh, I didn't make a video on it or anything, but I cut it in half, fiberglassed it, mocked it all up, and it bolts on, guys. It, it, it bolts on good now, so I just gotta sand it, fix it, make it look pretty, and guys, it's coming along, coming along. If you guys want me to do like another video, show you guys me finishing up the spoiler and stuff, let me know in the comments down below. I'll do that. Uh, let me open this up real quick and uh, show you guys the the stuff that I got. But first, let's turn this sucker off because 
she's been on for too long. <laughs> nice. I think we just might have fixed that car. Nice. Very nice. All right, check it out, guys. Got the rear C pillar bar. And then I got the front strut bar right here. I got these on car ID. Uh, pretty cheap. I think they're still on sale. I got them two for, for 60 or two for 70. I was like, hell yeah, I had to, you know? So, got that. Got a spoiler back there. And uh, we fixed the idle issue on the Civic for now. You know, as of now, we fixed it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, let me know in the comments down below. So, a quick breakdown, you know, as to what we did to fix the idle issue on our Civic, on, on the Civic. Um, you know, I cleaned out, I'm gonna tell you guys everything I did. So for starters, uh, I did the spark plugs, wires, replaced all the coolant hoses. Okay. I cleaned the intake tubing, removed the throttle body, replaced the throttle body gasket, cleaned the throttle body. I cleaned part of the intake manifold, uh, replaced the idle air control valve in the back. I did replace that. And, um what else what else what else and then uh we messed with the idle screw so like i told you guys tying it up all the way loosen it up halfway just once and that's all i did you know it might not work for yours you might have to adjust a little bit more a little bit less you know you have to play with it and uh lastly this sensor i'm not sure what was up with that sensor. i don't know if it was just the idle screw that you know triggered it or that might have been bad i don't know but as of now everything's working fine so if it starts acting up again you know um i might have to check the voltage on those cables and see if that is getting power or see if that sensor is any any good at all but for now you know i don't wish it was fixed i'm actually gonna install these real quick i was gonna wait but i uh, figured i'd install them real quick so I'm just gonna bolt these off real quick. It's a 14 millimeter bolt. Are we gonna bolt those off and uh, bolt the strip bar on? Nice. So I got the strip bar installed. Not gonna lie, it's all right. It's not as cool as the one we had before on the other Civic, but it'll do, you know, a little something to spice up the engine bay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and install the, C, the rear C pillar bar. And I'll be back with you guys and I'll show you guys how it looks. Let me know if you guys uh, uh, want to see me like, you know, undo the bolts and install them. I mean, it's not, I've done, I've showed this before in my previous videos, but you know, I just feel like it makes it easier for me to edit the videos at the end of the day. You know, just keeping the useful parts and just showing you guys what's going on. But let me know if you guys want longer videos like that, like actual install videos. I mean, I'm all for it. Just let me know. All right, guys, so got the front strut bar installed. Got the rear C pillar bar installed. Idle is at a thousand. Nice. Got this little rear spoiler and got this spoiler installed. This is the, the one off the Integra. It's already bolted on, so got that. Got our rear strut bar. Nice, nice. This car's coming along, guys. But yeah, I think it's safe to say that our idle issue has been solved, guys. For now, for the time being. Uh, you know thank you so much for watching guys if anything else does pop up i'll let you guys know but for now don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace